Just at the gas station this morning, filling her up with fuel. I'm getting my fuel for the morning. But today, uh, I've been waiting to try it. I don't know how it's gonna go. I really have no idea, y'all. We're gonna try to till hunt the lease pond. Now, one good thing about the lease pond is that there is an entire cut cornfield up against the water, pretty much. So there's a bunch of dove basically going right over the water hole that we're gonna be hunting. I've been wanting to do a duck and dove shoe at the lease field. Today should be the perfect opportunity. The only thing that I'm worried about is kitten the teal down on the ground because there's a literally very, very, very few limited teal on my pond. I mean limited. There might be 20 at most. So uh, I did a little solo hunt yesterday. There was probably 30 to 40 teal. And it was a struggle trying to get two of them down. So, never know. It could be completely insane and I limit out in 10 minutes. I don't know, but I'm assuming that it's gonna be hard to get down a duck. We should shoot some dove. Keep our fingers crossed, right? But check out that Blades camo hat. You guys have been loving them. They've been flying off the shelf. We don't have very many left. If you guys wanna pick one up, I will link them down in the description below as well as all of our new hoodies. We got brand new Olive Pro Staff hoodies. Tons of Pro Staff gear in there, guys. So if you guys are wanting a Pro Staff shirt, long sleeve hoodie, anything like that, it's got Pro Staff down the sleeve. I will link it all down in the description below. Whenever you guys purchase something from Ducks Waterfowl, it goes directly to supporting your boy and bringing you guys more of these videos. We all know YouTube don't like the hunting videos, so at any time these videos could get demonetized because they do. So I appreciate it, y'all so much <laughs> look how happy he is look at that pretty sun behind you it's gonna be a good looking sunrise today well Fred and I are finally in the blind you ready buddy yeah finally at the lease pond just got the spread set the only thing I sat out today which I'll show you the spread here when the sun comes up you guys ain't gonna be able to see anything right now I put out a dozen and a half teal floaters only that's it. I didn't put out any big ducks. One mojo. Kind of doing a little bit of side wind action here. I will show you the setup, like I said, when the sun comes up. But I'm excited. Uh, as far as I've seen when we pulled up, probably bumped maybe only a handful of blue wings off here. But I'm hoping we have some luck. We don't have to limit out. Just get down something, you know what I mean? And before we get into the video here, before we get to running and gunning and running Fred and the whole nine yards, got a big trip I've been telling y'all about. I've been hinting around about my Canada trip coming up. Well, that is at the end of this week. When you guys are watching this video, I should be leaving or have already left, I'm pretty sure. But I am going to Alberta to shoot Specs, Canada's, Pintails, Mallards, the whole nine yards, baby. I actually met one of you guys up there, a subscriber that got a hold of me on Instagram and was like, hey dude, we'd love to have you up here. My whole crew watches you. This is what we do, this is where we're at. 780 Outdoors, check them out on Instagram. They have been putting down piles. That's where we're headed. But I just wanted to give you a little heads up. It's gonna be a best friend trip. And uh, the first day, the first hunt that our butts are laying on our backs in layout blinds, it'll be my birthday. So it's gonna be a amazing birthday. Probably one of the best I've ever had, so. We're gonna be making a video. We're gonna be running the gun with the GoPro on our heads. I don't believe I'm gonna be able to take Fred. I'm already flying the gun up there. I'm not wanting to try to fly and kennel him. I've heard it's really traumatic for dogs. If you guys know anything about flying dogs, if it's easy, if it's bad for him, it is a long flight. Please let me know. Drop a comment down below and be like, Bobby, it's really not that bad. I've done it before. This is how far we went. Just let me know. Or if it's horrendous, please let me know because I've been thinking about it. If it's easy, I might take him. Well, boys, it is shooting light. Just had three buzz me. They went right over the water and went right behind me. I hope, I really, really, really hope that you guys can see five pack just landed. I'm hoping that you guys can see something here dove about hit me in the face that group of five just landed they're still out there they were within 12 yards another dove oh my it's so dark that i'm afraid i might lose the bird even if i do shoot one you know what i mean fred's definitely not going to be able to see exactly where it goes here we go boys
There we go. There's one down. One down, baby. Man, that was hard seeing that bird. Holy cow. Fred! Dead bird. Well, one down. Holy hope. Fred here. He didn't see it go down. It's literally too dark. Here, Fred, here. Heel, set, good. They're still buzzing right here. Come on, come by, come by. We got three. Grab me a shell. We got three buzzing. We're gonna let that bird lay for one second. There's a dove. Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed the shot on the three. Here we go. There we go. They landed. Two more down, baby. Woohoo! Fred! There we go. We got three down. Here's this one right here. I hope he circles back around. Where are you at, little booger? One just got up. Good, here! Good boy! Good boy, here! Let's go! My bird! Oh yeah, buddy, there we go. We gotta pick up two more, Frederick. If you guys are liking the video, please, please smash that thumbs up button for me and Frederick. The Lease Pond, first hunt. Three down, baby. This is going way better than I expected. All right, we're gonna leave those two lay for one second, Fred. Sit, sit, we got birds flying, okay? This is awesome, this is amazing. Guys, I gotta tell you, not to get a little sentimental on y'all, but when I got Frederick, I was so scared that I wasn't gonna be able to hunt like I wanted to. And Frederick is turning out to be an amazing dog. You're awesome, dude. I'm proud of you. Another dove, look at that. We're gonna start shooting dove here in just a little bit. Single boys, he's turning. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, he was out there. Come back, buddy. He is looking for his buddies. He don't know what happened. <laughs> That's the second time he circled and he's staying so low that I can't see him coming. Look at this guy coming up in here. Check this out. That's a crane. Wow, look at that. That is a big old crane. Wow. Now if that isn't the best confidence decoy, I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, he gone. He flew off. See ya, buddy. Oh, this is a beautiful morning, y'all. We got a short sleeve on. Absolutely had to layer up with the bug spray. I'm not I'm not even kidding you. When I was throwing decoys, it was dark out. There was no mosquitoes. I wasn't feeling them at all. Right when that sun cracked, I started swatting my neck, my back, my arms. Guys, this time of year, lather up with the DEET. You won't regret putting it in your blind bag. I'm serious. Good boy, here, here, my bird. Good boy. There we are, well. I thought I had the GoPro on and I didn't. I don't think I did anyways. Dropped the fourth one, that single turned back around. I cut the GoPro off, thought I had it turned back on. Turns out I don't think I did. But we got two more over here, Fred. Dead bird. We got feathers right there. I did see one get up. Maybe he was just wounded and then flew away. That could be. Maybe we only have three down. But I know there's one that dropped back here. Oh, he's dead. Fred's seen that one right there. Got him. That's definitely four. There we go. Oh, that is number three in possession. That's a good looking one. Didn't land in the water. Didn't get tore up at all. One shot to the belly. 
so check this out guys when i hold when i hold birds up on my instagram for them yummy pictures when i hold them up look at that guy he landed in the water he's been in the dog's mouth look at this one he landed in the dry field looks beautiful that's going to be today's picture right there absolute gorgeous man so thankful duck season's here if you're liking this video though y'all you gotta smash that thumbs up button fred well i've went around this entire area been looking for every bit of 20 minutes every bit so here's my idea the bird we dropped right here it wasn't all the way dead i seen it get back up and when it got back up i didn't put two and two together but i dropped it must have winged it it got down flew up and then i reshot that bird i'm pretty sure that was the last bird i shot so if anything i should have one to find i'm, I'm pretty sure so four total um it should be right here and we have just trolled this entire area i'm gonna let it get a little lighter out gonna let the sun come up a little more and we'll continue to uh search but we got three in the bag right now a lot of dove are starting to fly those are not dove so i think the teal the duck hunting's about over here we're gonna try to shoot some dove come on fred because i dropped one there fred got it dropped one there fred got it and then i dropped one long we got it but then i dropped this one that's the one that got back up and then that one on the edge of the brown reeds out there that's the one i can't find we're just gonna have to let the sun come up maybe he wasn't all the way dead either and he drowned himself they like to do that this time of year they will clinch on to the vegetation underneath and they will straight up drown themselves if any of you guys have ever had that happen to you which i'm sure a bunch of you have let me know down in the comments There's one. Oh. Oh, where did those ducks come from? I did not even see them coming. What in the world, Bob? I, sh I was shooting out a dove. There's a group of four teal right there. What in the ever loving? What just happened? Golly, that's too close and then too far. <laughs> Ooh, a group of dove just got up behind me though. Sit, Fred. Sit. Guys, if you ever plan on shooting dove and ducks at the same time, make sure you got them still shots on you. But uh yeah, it's a big load for a little bird, but still not a dove down. I'm about out of four shot. That's a bad deal. The dove are staying out in the corn out here. Hmm. I think the ducks are over. I said that last time and got burned by a group of four. I know y'all seen that one. We might just have to skirt on over and go sit over here in the corn and try to bang on some dove. Cause they're not gonna wanna come over here to the decoy. They'll, they fly over the pond, but they don't land on this bank or anything. You know what I mean? I think that's the plan. Cause there's a bunch of dove over there. Well, there's an absolute ton of dove flying out here. I'm just bringing a bucket and the dove mojo we're gonna see if we can get something done here Ooh. Oh, fred i just annihilated oh my boy howdy right before i mean he was two foot off the ground and just whoo that was a bad deal there well, we're gonna have to come back and actually do a full on dove hunt here. Dead bird, Fred. There he is. There's a bunch of dove out here. There you go. First dove on the board, baby. I got way too large of shells to be out here shooting these dove because that bad boy decoyed and whoo boy. Wow, there's a lot of dove out here. Holy smokes probably just gonna shoot a couple if i can get us a nice little catch clean cook you know what i'm saying i need some good lunch the last catch clean cook y'all loved it and it was yummy the old poppers oh so a dove and a teal catch clean cook oh boy howdy 
got one out front that just short stopped the decoy about 12 yards let's see if we can set Fred heel should get up there he is missed him that's all right Sit, good boy good job staying so bad thing is is I really really need some six or seven seven and a half shot for these dove so I want to come back and do a full-on just dove hunt so I can use some good lead shot but like I said guys if you ever plan I, I gotta stress it to y'all if you plan to shoot ducks and dove on the same hunt don't bring lead and shoot lead at the dove and steal at the ducks no 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 because if you get checked you won't be able to prove that you shot steel on everything because you have lead on your possessions so do not do that just use steel i wish i had some smaller loads of steel but uh what i got's gonna have to work what do you think bud what do you think you guys have been asking about our barrel stickers if you guys want to pick these up we got a bunch of new ones there's like 10 new ones on there and they are hilarious. There's some real funny ones. I will link them down in the description below. Go check them out. Go pick yourself up one. There's a bunch of different phrases. This one's make it rain. We got the old spray and pray still. We got boom stick. There's all kinds of good ones. So if you're interested, if you've been thinking about picking up a barrel sticker, I will link all of them down in the description below. We have an awesome selection at Ducks Waterfowl. Here we go. Here comes one right down the pipe. Come on now. There we go, third shot was the trick. Come on, we got a dead bird. Oh, there goes one more, just missed him. And he, he's way over here. That left to right shot I've been uh, talking about on the videos, I have been struggling with the left to right. Uh, when you're right handed and your left to right shots, your barrel, your barrel tends to cover up the bird. And uh, I've been struggling with it. I had to readjust there, had to lead that bird a lot more, and he went down. Well, there we go. Fred found him. Second dove of the day. Woo! Good little hunt going on here. I've seen a bunch of dove out here. I'm going to have to wrestle up the boys. We might have to come out here and just get a good old dove shoot going because there's a bunch, let me tell you. for today's hunt i think we're gonna go home and do us a catch clean cook like i said though some dove and some teal ought to be tasty but i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video it's not over by no means but you guys have been loving the dove hunting and the duck hunting and uh i was like let's incorporate both of them i know we didn't get a lemon on anything today we ended up with three teal two dove not bad for a one man that is a perfect lunch, let me tell you what. That'll be more than enough, actually. So, let's roll. Well, you know me, if I find something on the side of the road that I like, I'm gonna get it. I got the pigeons at home, and I'm almost out of beans. Check out this big old pile of beans. I got another pile over there that I haven't even touched. But I only had one bucket available and we filled that bad boy up. The pigeons and the baby pigeons at home, I haven't, I haven't showed you guys them forever. You know what we're going to do first off? We're going to go back home, we're going to feed and water the pigeons. I'm going to show you the babies, they have gotten huge. Two of them don't even look like babies anymore, they're so big. Uh, and you guys have missed the pigeon videos. But, how awesome. Find a pile of grain on the road, we're stocked back up with, with beans. I was actually completely out of beans. And it seems that they like the beans more than corn a lot of times. Now that the babies are on the ground, beans might have more protein than corn, maybe? I think so. If you guys know that answer, drop a comment down below and let me know. Because I do know with babies, pigeons need high protein food. So I'm sure beans is a good source of that. Jeez. Watch out, dude. What are you doing, man? You're still wet. Well, back here at the house, and like I promised, I wanted to show you all the pigeon loft. I haven't showed you guys in a while. You guys haven't seen the babies. Check out the white babies here. Unplug this thing. Too loud. But check out the white babies here. Look at them. 
Look at them, they've gotten huge. Up around, walking, doing their own thing. There's mom and dad back there. Insane, they have gotten huge. But, I'm gonna feed them with the new beans we just got off the road, that was awesome. That was a sweet find, I needed them. They've been eating the beans up. Hey little beans. <laughs> Oh, two, look at these two guys right here. These are partners in crime. I'm really not kidding. Here at the house, these two right here, they're always into something together. I'm serious. Always up to no good. That's what it is. Is that right, Bubbles? Yes. Yes, you big baby. Yes, Frederick. Is that your baby, Frederick? Yeah, Oh. They also are best friends. I love them, pets. You've been watching pets too.